Hello YouTube, this is Dragonzilla here, and this evening I will be taking a look at the new Schleich figures for 2019. However, I will be looking at two of the new wildlife figures, and I have decided that aside from dinosaur and prehistoric animal figures, I may also look at one or two other figures from either wildlife or fantasy lines. This will go for any company. Okay, so starting in the wildlife range, we have a Komodo dragon, which is my favourite species of lizard. And Schleich did one many years ago, but that has been discontinued. So you could say that this one is an upgrade. The figure itself looks spot on, and just like the real animal. And I believe that it will also look fantastic with Papo's Komodo dragon. Next up, before we look at the dinosaurs and two prehistoric reptiles, well, sort of for one of them, is the Mexican Red Knee Tarantula, but Schleich have labelled it as Tarantula. But unlike Papo, that brought out a European wolf spider and labelled it as a Tarantula, Schleich have got it right. The Mexican Red Knee is a very popular spider, and to have one as a figure is fantastic. However, this is not the first time a Mexican Red Knee has been seen in figure form. This spider was made by Collector one time, but unlike the prototype image, the figure itself was not entirely accurate. So this, although still not quite there, it's good enough. Now for the dinosaurs, and the first one is not a dinosaur, but the Synapsid, or as Matthew calls them, Reptor Mammal Dimetrodon. Now this is basically a repaint of the 2016 model, and although I do like the green on the figure, because green is my favourite colour, along with red, blue and gold, I'm not too enthusiastic on this one, and especially after they did Dinogorgon this year. I had high hopes that Schleich would do another Veratzid, but instead we get another Dimetrodon, and although I do like Dimetrodon, and I'm aware that Collector are doing Idaphosaurus next year, I am disappointed that it's not another Veratzid. It's the same basic sail back that we all know and love. Next we have another repaint, which is Giganotosaurus, or Gigantosaurus, whatever you like to call it. And the painting has improved, but not the pause. That is all on this one. So we're now onto the new sculpts, and this one is Dimorphodon, and it looks absolutely ridiculous. I'm sorry to those who really like this figure, and if you're looking forward to it, that's fine, because we're all entitled to our own opinions. But to me, this looks more like a cartoon character, especially if I give it a cartoon eye. The next figure is the Anatrax, I think that's how you say it. And again, it's a dinosaur that I'm not too familiar with, but I'm guessing it's either a Polycanthid or Nodosaur, or it could even be an Ankylosaur. But anyway, the figure itself looks nice, and I like the paws that it seems to be like defending itself from a predator. I haven't got much to say on this one, I think it's just a simple little dinosaur figure, but you know, it's still a nice looking one. And finally, we have Schleich's own take on a scientifically accurate Spinosaurus, and I doubt it's 100% accurate, but I have a soft spot for it, and I think it's, don't hear me on this, but I think it's a little bit, slightly, but not too much better than Safari's. The sail looks like it's got a bite mark, and I believe that the figure will also have an articulated jaw. Well there we go guys, that was tonight's look at the new figures. Yeah, it's night at the time I'm doing this. I don't know if this is all Shrike has to offer for next year, not counting the wildlife figures. I mean, we don't know what's going on with Collector as well, because they have brought out their 2019 catalogue out early, and hopefully they're only showing what they have revealed so far, and yes this video is on Shrike, but the three companies for next year appear to be dodgy so far. Safari Limited seems to be a mixed bag from what I have heard, 
Unless more have yet to be revealed, Collector is lacking, and Schleich just seems to be meh. And if that's the case, then my god, what the hell's Papo gonna be like? It's not the choices of animals from each company, it's the quality and how many there will be. Anyway, those are my thoughts on the 2019 figures from Shrike, and I don't have any more final thoughts. Good choices of animals, but the repaints were unnecessary, and I think two new figures would have been better. In Diametrodon's place, maybe a new Veratzid, and in the Giganotosaurus place, maybe another dinosaur that hasn't been made by Shrike. This is Dragonzilla sign out, and I'll see you all next time. Take care, bye. Say what?